Foundations of Business Analysis students and welcome to this Excel tutorial on missing observations. As you've learnt in class this week, when you collect data, quite often there can be errors in that raw data that's been collected. A common error is a non-response error, whereby you might have a question that one of the respondents did not answer. An important question before we conduct our analysis is what to do with those non-responses. There's a number of different approaches we can take as, as shown in the lecture notes. The potential approaches are to either delete those non-responses or alternatively to try to fill the non-responses with expected values uh, using some sort of data editing. But before we get there, an important thing for us to do is to determine how many, if any, missing observations we might have for particular variables. If there's only a very small number of missing observations, we're not so concerned about deleting them. So let's jump into Excel and have a look at how we can identify missing values in an Excel database. What I've got open here is the real estate case study that we've been working on throughout this trimester. One of the variables in the real estate case study is the number of half bathrooms within the house. As I scan down the list, I can immediately see in cell I14 that there's at least one missing observation for this variable. So what I want to do is use an Excel formula to enable me to count the total number of missing observations for that variable and also the proportion of missing observations. So what I've got over here is a, a pre-prepared table whereby I've included some titles for the different counts that I'm going to, to calculate here. So first of all, I want to calculate the number of missing observations for half baths. The formula to count the number of missing observations is equals count blank. So the count blank formula will count the number of blank cells within any given range. The range I want to identify is the range of variables under the half baths observations. So what I do is I click on cell I2, holding down shift and control, I scroll down to get to the bottom of, of that range. What we can see here is that I've selected the range I2 to I 1201. I press enter and it tells me for that variable there were eight missing observations in total. Now that number 8 could be a large proportion or a small proportion depending on how many total number of observations we have. So the next thing I want to calculate is for how many of these observations of half baths were actually recorded. In, in how many instances do we have a non-zero value for this variable? So to count the number of non-zero values, the formula I use is count A. Equals count A. Once again, I highlight the relevant range, which is going to be between I2 and I1201. I'm just going to use my keyboard to select that range. If I come back up, you can see that I2 to I1201 is the range that's been selected. And in total, there's 1192 uh, of these observations that are non-missing. So the total number of observations that I've got in my sample is going to be the sum of the missing and the non-missing observations, which equals to 1,200. The final thing I might want to do is work out what proportion of total observations are missing, or what percentage is 8 of 1,200. To calculate that proportion, I simply use a fraction. So over here in cell Q5, I'm going to say equals number of missing observations divided by number of total observations, that equals to 0 0.00667 or 0.67%. So we've got less than 1% of our observations that are missing, so we're not too concerned about the effect missing observations might have because they're such a small part of the sample. That's our Excel tutorial on identifying and counting the number of missing observations. See you next time.